welcome to my channel, Christine in Light. This is a reading for Leo in the meantime. Hi, Leo. Um, I feel like Leo's got a nice, pretty schedule set up, you know. You probably might be, f in the beginning, you felt a little bit confined. Because Leo needs to, the sun, <laughs> Leo needs to be out there. I'm seeing some of you have gardens, um, terraces, you're taking some vitamin D in, you know, at least that. So I hope you have some sunlight in your apartment or your house, okay? That you're able to take advantage of that because you are the sun. You're probably very uh, funny and entertaining right now to the people around you, trying to make the best of it, trying to make uplift everybody else, you know. Just being your, your, your beautiful self, Leo. So, um, basically, Leo, in your um, sixth house of Capricorn still, we have uh, Pluto, Jupiter, Mars, the south node. Um, and we had a lot of conjunctions, you know. Pluto and Mars, then Saturn and Mars, then now Saturn is in your seventh. So, house of uh, relationships, right? For you, it's Aquarius. Um, so you're looking at your relationships, you're probably getting a lot of phone calls, people are wanting some attention from you, because you live, you know, you're alive for the party, you have this thing that you can uplift everybody and make everybody smile and happy and just want to live, <laughs> you're like that energy, you're the vitamin D, <laughs> so you might be very solicited right now, um, I'll definitely, I'm seeing video calls, WhatsApp calls, and lots of calls, incoming, incoming, um, you might be even checking on people too, because you're loving, you're, you're, you're very giving and loving, you know, and just a happy all around. So that's in your seventh house. I don't think anything's changed. You're feeling good, Leo. I'm feeling, you're chilling. You're really balanced. You're aligned. You're making the best of it. You know how to do that. Um, in your eighth house. A Pisces, there's Neptune, so you're doing what you love, and you love everything. Everything for you, you can turn it and see the beauty in it, so I don't think you're having any problems right now, Leo, with this, like, lockdown. Um, you're coming up with little things to do for your children, if you have children. You're coming up with, like, things, you know, you're like, oh, let's cook this, you know. You're innovating, you're spicing it up, you're you're bringing life, you're, you're, you're like, enjoying life and bringing things, you know, inventing, creating things to make people less stressed. You're a stress reliever right now, Leo, okay? Now, in your eighth house, which is Aries, um, no, eighth house is, uh, sorry, Pisces. So like I said, you're coming up with projects and stuff to do to entertain people. In your ninth house, though, Aries, we have the sun and the moon, okay? We have the, we have the new moon in Aries uh, on the 24th. So, um, yeah, that might be, it might have like had a little bit of like, just a little tiny bit of like feeling like, oh, I want to go out, you know, but I think you quickly turned that around and just did something else. You figured something else to do to get out of that energy. Kudos to you. In your 10th house of Taurus, we have Venus and Chiron. So again, like I said, you're, you're calling people, you're trying to make them feel better, you're uplifting them. You're trying to just be the nurse right now. You're very Cancerian-like right now, Leo. And I like that. So, um, let's see what we have. Gardening, you're gardening, you're, you're just cooking. You're very, very Cancerian. You're very Cancerian right now, and Cancer is your 12th house, so it's your subconscious, right? So you're tapping into that Cancerian vibe right now, Leo. Now, let's see what we have for you from the Tarot. Tiro Marchetti, Tarot Grand Lukes for Leo Spirit in the meantime. I have Leo friend, a really good friend, and he's practically, I'm a cancer son, he's the only person I can talk to right now, because everybody seems to want to talk about the virus, and I don't want to, because it's like, it's not a, you know, you can't have a discussion, it's like, there's only two, two sides here, 
people that are spinning in the vortex and people that are getting out of the vortex and trying to make, you know, to do something, to, to, to maximize the situation, use it to the, you know, to do something, you know, positive and forthcoming and, you know, looking to the future. And then there are those that are in the vortex that are just spinning. You know, those people that watch the news, that are doing research. Like, I mean, they're trying to win a Nobel Prize. This is not, you cannot figure this shit out. So it's like, that's a waste of time. And I don't need to talk to those people. I'm sorry. Call me insensitive. I'm not. I'm a cancer son. But you know what? I got to protect myself too. Healthy boundaries. But this friend of mine, this Leo, is the only guy, he's a man. He's the only one I can talk to, practically. And my mother. Because everybody else just wants to talk about the corona. And we don't have the same point of view. So, you know what? I, I don't want to get into arguments. I don't want to be harsh. So, I'd just rather not talk on the phone. I'll send messages. So, it's short and it's cute. <laughs> Basically. Okay. That was my little rant. Do what works for you, basically. You gotta protect your energy, too. People can pull you down. That's why I don't watch the news. All right, Spirit, what do we have for Leo, please? In the meantime, please, Spirit. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your ideas, you have clear, clear minded, clear, concise minded right now. You're not, your Queen of Swords can be abrupt and very, like, clear, sharp. But I think you're not. You're just, you know, you have the right words. You have the right words, Leo. You can, judgment. You are very, um, you're the contrary of the Queen of Swords right now. You know, which could be abrupt and like sharp and very like abrasive. Not abrasive, but she can be, come off strong, you know, cold. And with the judgment card, you're helping others have another, you know, you're... Um, you're entertaining them. That's what I mean. You're making them uh, keep their mind off of, you know, the dark side, the dark part of, like, the situation. Mm -hmm. You have the right words. You, you know what to say. You know, you're just nurturing. You're very nurturing right now. You're helping people have perspective. That's what I'm saying. That's good, Leo. Oh. Okay, Spirit, what, do have, what else do we have for Leo, please, in the meantime? Leo. Three more. Okay. Well, there they go. Death. Yep. You're, uh, judgment and death. Two major causes. You're changing their perspective. You're helping them cope. It's like you're almost like pep talking them. Not pep talking. You're being a psychiatrist right now. You are transmuting their negative energy. And you've made it your mission. And that's how you keep busy. Because you are love and you keep giving... You like to give love, you know. We are all love, but Leo is definitely, their motto is love and passion. So you're very passionate, you're very giving right now, very nurturing, and you're, you're there. You're there for people around you. You're helping them heal. You're helping them have perspective. See? Four of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Paris. Okay, Judgment and Death are Scorpio and Plutonian cards. So it's a rebirth. You're changing their point of view. Right? And then here you have the four swords. Again, you're just like, you're making them be able to, you're really calming them. You're calming them. Okay? Ten of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yep. Your family too. Your family is very serene. You're bringing a sense of serenity to people around you. Um, seven of Swords, which is putting down, you know, everything we don't need. The things we just kind of hold on to mentally. Um, you know, that going around in your head and like being dispersed in different areas and like, this is rearranging. This is like sorting out, you know, looking at what, looking at in perspective and, um, not like going round and round with things, you know, that don't serve you. This is for me, the seven of swords. People say it's usually somebody like um, conniving, somebody like planning, scheming. Here, I feel like you're just like giving people um, serenity and, and, and perspective and just optimism. Your optimism is like very uplifting right now. You have this energy about you that you can transmute their energy and heal them and just bring them some sense of peace and serenity. Ten of Cups. 
and it goes a long long way Leo and that's really good you're playing psychiatrist right now help center help center you're a help center right now you've set up a help center <laughs> you know help call-in center Leo that's, that's so cute all right new in this astro deck Ruby Warrington and Beth Matassa told you look you're being cancerian I told you you're in your cancer mood right now you're tapping into that 12th house mm. you're telling them don't worry don't worry I got you it's beautiful so it's very noble of you Leo. but then again that's who you are these times you are much needed Leo okay all right, Spirit, what do I have for Leo? In the meantime, very soothing energy here. With this Four of uh, Swords and the Ten of Cups. Very soothing. All right, Spirit, what do I have for Leo, please? In the meantime, Leo, in the meantime. Again, cancer. <laughs> but for you, it's your 12th house. Yes, Leo, I told you. You are like, you're at home, you're chilling, you're entertaining everyone, you're lightening the energies up, cooking, you know, you're sheltering everybody, making them feel safe, caring for them, you know, changing their perspective, changing their point of view, just lightening things up, brightening things up, shining things, making things bright and shiny and um, optimistic. That's what you're doing, Leo. And that's beautiful. Let's get a uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle since we had that full moon in Aries, okay? Aries, which is like I told you, your ninth house. All right, which is that sunny perspective because ninth house deals with higher consciousness learning. So, you're illuminating. You're very. You're being the sun right now. You're you're being the sun, and you're ruled by the sun. So that's very fitting and perfect, Leo. You're being the sun. Spirit, tell us what do you feel, Leo? Please. In the meantime, Leo's being the sun. The listener right now definitely a healer definitely being a healer right now so what do you from uh for leo from the queen of the moon oracle stacy the marco for leo You're giving, you're feeding them some wisdom over here. Leo, you are, you got all the right answers. You are saying the right things. You have the right things to say. You're saying all the right things right now. And you're healing people. You're balancing. You're giving them, you're bringing them the sense of balance that they really need. That we all need. <coughs> Excuse me. That we all need, Okay. Sun Leo. Yep. Okay. Spirit. Animal Oracle. Clap and read for Leos. In the meantime.
videos in the meantime. Okay. Oops. Picking up all the cards. Lots of ashes everywhere. All right. Time for a deep dive. You're healing. This is healing energy. Swan, it's like, you know, being pretty, being on the surface and all that. And you and going in and looking at the ugly. That's the deep dive, right? Just going below the surface. And that's what you're doing. This is perspective. It's air energy, I feel, you know? It's like perspective. It's like looking at things, facing them, and making the best out of them. Healing. This is healing energy. And that's what you're doing, Leo. It's like healing to, 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 to reach that balance again. See? Two, two, and six. It's like you're showing them a death card judgment. That's healing too. Um, you know, that's rebirth. That's like transmuting like old patterns and stuff like that. And that's what you're doing. Uh, you're giving them another perspective. You're, you're spinning it. You're spinning, giving them another spin on this thing. Plus, I'm very uh, drawn to the pink here. Okay. Right here. It's like very soothing, calming, nurturing. Cancer is all about nurturing and soothing and calming. And um, warmth, you know, and love. I love this card. This deep dive card. All the cards are beautiful from this deck. Let's get an earth magic, guys. Earth magic. Sun says he's hungry. Pizza's in the oven. Get some sage. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just chilling. I'm sorry if I'm like very like taking my time. But hey, where do we? We ain't got nowhere to go. We ain't. Cause Leo's. You guys don't get impatient. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes you want to go, go, go. But I feel like you're very, like, serene right now. So you're serene. You've, you've, you, at first maybe it was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? I need to get out. And I think you, it, it lasted a day or two. And now you found the, the balance. And it's cool. And you're managing pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. Okay. All right, Spirit, what do I for Leo in the meantime, please? My lighter is almost out. That's why I keep lighting like a crazy woman. All right, Spirit, what do I for Leo, please? Oops, Earth Magic, Stephen D. Farmer, Leo in the meantime. Stephen D. Farmer in the meantime, Leo. That's you, Leo. The sun is innocence. It's inner child. Leo, you are the sun right now. You are the sun. You are everybody's sun. You bring that energy of like, it's okay. They even like don't even think about it anymore because it's like you take their mind off of it. They're tapped in because of you. They're tapped in. To their true beauty. They're tapped into beauty, to the light. You're everyone's son right now. You're being Leo. <gasps> Ugh. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> you are everybody's diamond, Leo. you all right spirit what do we have for leo please from the sacred destiny dennis lynn what else can i get after this what is the moral all right sacred destiny please for leo in the meantime spirit one last time
pot. Okay, so what do you feel, please? In the meantime. Diligence, working hard, being patient, putting in the work, dedication. This is you, Leo. Um, like I said, you've made this your mission throughout this time. You found out, you found your calling throughout this time. You found what you were, you found your, 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 your purpose. You, were, you know, everyone is going through something here. Everybody's going through a rebirth in one area of their life or multiple areas of their lives. And this lockdown is for us to pick one thing or just look at our lives and transmute energy and like revise and change. Okay. So I think in this time, Leo, that's what you're doing. You figured out, listen, hey, people are coming to me. I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm helping them out. Uh, I feel good about that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do it well. And I'm not going to expect anything from it. Because I love doing it. That's what this is. Okay? And you're diligently being present and helpful and compassionate. Because you are wise. And you're very positive and you're very fun, in a sense. And you're, 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 you're healing people. That's what you're doing, Leo. Okay? Alright, last but not least, the Wisdom Oracle. Also, Colette Baron Reed. And we wrap it up. This very beautiful, soothing reading here. Such a soothing reading. I can feel the energy. Very soothing energy. Spirit, what do I have for the beautiful diamonds here? The beautiful sun, Leo. What do I have for Leo? In the meantime, they're working diligently, healing people. Diligently healing people. Wow, that's amazing. It's not easy to deal with people, you know. Ask for patience. You are very patient, Leo. And it's not even you're patient. You're just in. You're just at ease. Patience implies that something is difficult, you know, and it's hard, and it's not the way you want it to be, that it's straightest, but you're not even patient. You're just serene. You're loving. That's what you are. Okay, Leo? I'm loving energy here. Spirit, what do we have for Leo, please? In the meantime. In the meantime. Oh. Come on, what's up with these lighters? I'm obsessed with sage. In the meantime, please, here we go. Spirit, one last shuffle. Up, cut it, cut her, and there we go. All right, spirit, we wait for Leo, please, in the meantime. From the Wisdom Oracle, collect very neat. Fork in the road, yep. You're helping them um, go the other way. You're helping them choose the light. See, um, fork in the road is when you're stuck. It's being stuck, not knowing where to go, being lost, uh, confused. Meanwhile, both of the choices, left or right, are unknown. So we just pick one, you know? So that's perspective too. That's faith. That's trust. That's wisdom. Okay, it is diligence as well. Being willing to work hard. Being willing to face whatever is there on either side, you know? And that allows the rebirth. That allows, you know, the lesson. It's being courageous enough and just going for it. No matter what. And allowing a change and being ready and knowing that the lessons that you're going to learn either way you go are for your betterment they're gonna make you grow and you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have you're gonna acquire wisdom from them from that new path whatever path okay this this is teacher energy Leo you are like teaching people right now you're a teacher 
You're like the sun god. Something like that. You know? Beautiful Leo. You're helping people emerge here from the dark. You are the sun. That's great. Look at that card. Look at the sun. A happy family. Beautiful. All right, Leo. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. And, you know, make people smile. I love you guys, Leo. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. Bye. Guys, sorry. Love you, Leos. Woohoo.